Hey, hey JK fam. fam. What's going on? I'm Jay. I'm Kay. And this is KJ. Say hey KJ. Um, so this video is going to be a little different than the videos that we typically record. First of all, we haven't done a video since 2080. Since I had my labor and delivery video with her. Um, which was on May 16th when I had her. So you guys can go check that video out. Um, I'll post be doing some updates. Haven't gotten around to it yet. But yay, here she is. Hey, cool. Hey. Hey. Okay, so on a serious note, we're going to be doing a story time today based on my experience at Target last night. Jane, Jane, K. Jane, 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 because I want to raise awareness for women out there, um, all women, especially black women, because apparently this is happening mostly to African-American women. Um, I, like about a year ago, I remember seeing videos and hearing stories and stuff. And like, I'm a researcher. So like once I hear one thing, like I'm gonna continue to like dig deeper to find more information about it. So I'm glad that I did that. And I'm glad that um, the women that had situations like this happen to them spoke out about it because it allowed me to know kind of what to look for um never thought i would really have to use those things or be on the lookout for those things for real but it's real um and then i was like okay maybe should i record a video but i really wanted to do it just for just to raise awareness i mean it happened in jacksonville this is it's what it, it's august 1st right now so this was yesterday july 31st 2020 um and once I started, like, I was going to record a video yesterday, but... I told her not to do that because she, it was so much emotion there. And because there's so much emotion there, I wanted her to be present of everything that happened. And oftentimes when you have a whole lot of emotion and you're traumatized, you don't remember everything. You, you remember key things, but it's details that need to be said that you probably don't remember until you're calm. Right. So I did have to get it out. So I did tell like a few people I'm pretty close with yesterday, especially like some of my girlfriends. But as I was talking to some of the people, I realized that I definitely needed to do it because they weren't as aware as I thought they were about the situations, even the things that I heard like last year. Like some of them were like, oh, well, if they followed you, okay, what could they have done in the store? I was like, oh yeah, let me, let me do this video just because some people may really not know. So this is what happened. So I went to Target last night in Jacksonville, Florida, um, the one in Regency. I had to get a few things. I had some items on my list that I needed for the weekend. Um, so I went to Target. It was around maybe 8 p.m. I'm not exactly sure the exact time. I'll have to check. Um, but as I was moving through the store getting things on my list, um, I was in the frozen foods aisle. And while I was in the aisle, I saw to my left, like to my peripheral, um, a guy and he was standing like he wasn't on the same aisle he was on the same aisle but across the hall so he was like in the section where the bowls and the, and the um, cups and stuff were but he was just standing he was facing my way but he was standing there he had a phone and he was just like he was just like acting like he well he was texting on his phone but he was facing me so I was like this is weird this, this is it just felt weird so I was like okay because he was literally just facing me I was only one on the aisle he was just facing me but had his phone down whatever so I was like all right let me face like there's a part of the mirror um there's a part of the fridge that's facing that way so there's fridge I don't know how to explain it so okay let's say if I'm facing the freezer here's a freezer on this side there's a freezer on this side and then at the at the end there's a freezer so the end of this of uh, the freezer on this end is like what am I trying to say? Is it like a if I look at the freezer this way, I, I would be able to see his reflection through it. So I'm looking so at... You had the door open and you could see his reflection? No, I, I, was, I was looking at this freezer first. So I was like, let me look, because I saw him through my side. So I was like, let me go to this freezer and just see what he's doing. So I go to this freezer and I can see his reflection through whatever. He's standing there. I see him looking at me. He comes on my aisle or whatever. And I was like, okay, whatever, cool. So I, I was like, maybe, you know, I'm just being paranoid. Um, but as I move to the next aisle, 
he's on that aisle and I move to the next aisle and he's on that aisle so then I go to like the section with like the um like the fruit and the smoothies and stuff like that um and I'm getting a few things and I see him there and when I first saw him he didn't have anything in his hand but now he has like a loaf of bread but he's like every time he comes on the aisle that I'm on he's acting like he's shopping but he's not getting anything and you could tell like he's like like, you know, you could tell he wasn't really shopping. Like, especially since I was, like, it was already on my radar that he was following me. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I had only seen, had I seen the other guy at this point? Yeah, so that was happening. So then I go to the, to get some soy milk and some um, dairy-free creamer. So while I'm over there. Shameless plug, I guess. <laughs> we're vegan. So while I'm over there, um, I noticed another guy and I, I knew, you know how you know that somebody knows some, like, let's say me and Jason are around each other and we act like we don't know each other, but you can tell that they know each other. And that's some chemistry there. Like. Yeah. They, they're feeding off of each other basically. So another thing I noticed is that they both had on the same exact mask. Like it was a white mask, like the disposable ones, but it was from the same pack. So they're close to each other. That one had his phone out too. Nothing in his hand. So I'm looking through the milks and stuff and he comes and stands beside me and he's looking through the milks and he was like, you know where the Gatorade is? And I was like, not in here where the milk is. It's probably down there with the other drinks. So he goes down there or whatever. Um, but the other guy, the, the, the first guy had a green shirt on and it was dirty AF. Like it was just, it was just dingy, dirty. Like he just looked like dirty. The guy that came to sit beside me looked dirty. He had on a black shirt though, but it was dingy. Like they just looked like they had been working somewhere. I don't know, like like in like maybe construction. I don't know, like working somewhere outside or something. That, that's how they looked. It was just dingy and dirty, both of them. So the guy that was getting the Gatorade went down where I told him it was or whatever. Like I tried, I wasn't trying to be friendly or whatever. But the guy with the green shirt was still around there or whatever. Like he was still learning green everywhere I went. He was there, and I was just like, uh. So I went back to the. The aisle I was on to begin with, and I called. He didn't. He didn't. I. I he came off the aisle I was on, but he wasn't on his aisle yet. So I was like, let me call Jason. So I was like, okay, if Jason answers, he comes to his aisle. I'm gonna act like Jason's in the car. I'm just gonna be like, hey, I'm about to come out in a second. Just hold, like, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, I'm about to come out. I'll, I'll be outside in one second, so that the guy would know. Okay, I'm not there alone. But um, the guy didn't come on the aisle, so I called Jason. I was like, hey, Jason, I think um, well, somebody's following me around the store. I'm pretty sure. And um, what did you think at that point? I was. So I was pissed because at first, you know, she's beautiful, right? So you think, um, okay, some guys is some guys probably think she's attractive. And that's just side note. Like I'm used to that. I'm used to guys like you know, oh, oh, you look good. Like you know, but it was a different vibe. Like it was not yeah. that. Oh, I'm trying to holler at you. Like it was like I'm plotting on you, on your. Okay. Now, now, now what was crazy is I was actually asleep with her. We were we had fell asleep. And this is random, but I was having dreams about some dude like trying to come in the house. It was weird as crap. I had dreams and dreams and dreams, and it kept with it kept the dreams were so vivid, that, and it was dirty, dirty guys, dirty guys. And I and I popped up, and I, I and I had my daughter in my hand, so you know I I'm popping up to myself looking like I'm looking at my door because I'm home, and I'm looking at my door like I know nobody coming up here, but the dream seemed so vivid, but I was tired, so I fell back asleep. She was asleep. And then I had a vision again where a person was closer to me, but they had like a gun or something. And I popped up uh, like a little startled. And, you know, nobody was in my house. Nobody was there. So I just went back to sleep. And the next time I woke up, it was her phone call. And she was like, hey, I think somebody followed me. So I was already on edge as it was. And then she was like, oh, I don't want to jump ahead. Okay, so I called him whatever, and I was like, but let me just make sure. Like, I, mean, I knew that the guy was following me, but I was like, let me just make sure. Like but she took her too long to call me back. So I was like, but I didn't want to be on my phone because I need to be paying attention at this point, you know? So I hang out with him, whatever. So I was like, all right, let me go to the makeup aisle. So I, got, I left the food aisle. I was like, let me see if they follow me. If they follow me to the makeup aisle, then I know for sure they're following me. So I go to the makeup aisle, but I go to where I'm able to see all angles of myself. So there's a wall of makeup behind me. I can see all the way to my left, all the way to my right, and then to the front. So I was like, okay, I'll, I can, I'll be able to see if one of them come around, whatever. Didn't see the two black guys. So I did see a white guy. Um, slowly walk past whatever he caught me. I, I mean there's people walking past but I saw this white guy like slowly walking past and I still don't think too much of it or whatever he was dirty as hell too like he had on like a dirty gray shirt with some shorts he was tall skinny 
um, white guy with a with a drawstring backpack. So and all these I'm remembering all of these details because like I was like I don't know I was just I was really like paying attention because I like one my gut was telling me and then two just the way they were acting and then from thank you guys that have posted videos in the past the the things that you said I knew what to look for so um, I was like all right he's gonna make makeup let me go towards the front let me just let me make sure let me make my way to the front then so I go and at the Target that I was at. Um, the clothing, like the children's clothes, are across from the registers. I get to the children's clothes, I'm looking through them, I see the white guy. And he's walking around like he's like he's about to check out, but he's like looking through the chips and stuff, looking through the candy. Um, you know, like but he's taking his time, like he's like like he's waiting for something or somebody, or whatever. And I was like, Oh, he's probably waiting for them guys to come back up here or something, whatever, da da da. So I was like, Let me go walk, let me go take another laugh around the store. Cause I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave right now. So I walk around. Whatever. I'm still looking around just to see if I see them. Like they gotta be somewhere. Like you know, I'm looking around to see if I see them. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So um, I was like, okay, let me go back to the front. So oh, when I walked away, the white guy walked away. He wasn't in the front anymore. He walked away through the store too. Now mind you, with this story that she's giving you, she still hasn't called me back. But that's because I have to be alert. Like I, I was having, and, and, I, and I agree, bless you, big girl. And I also didn't want him to come bless, bless you. you I was also nervous about Jason coming to the store because I thought he was gonna come in the store. He had her and and at that point I didn't listen, listen. I, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't want her to be in there because I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'd rather be by myself than him come with her. And I didn't care about like for me at that moment. You know, you know, thank God for wisdom. But at that moment, I didn't care about none of that. It's like what. I'm pissed, so I end up calling her back. I see what's going on, and she was like, "Well," and she texted me and said, "Hey, well, I'm just gonna let." Uh, I said I was gonna let one of the employees off now, so I had typed I, a letter. I, was, I, was, I typed a letter in my phone. I'm gonna show you how the in my notes. Um, listen, why she? And this is what I typed. Hand. I wish you could, this, it shows the time. July. This was at. I got in the store around eight. So I typed this this note in my phone at. Let's see if I can show you. It says it's at 9.33 p.m. I put this note on my phone because I'm trying to leave out. They close at 10. So I was like, there are um, three dudes I feel like were following me around the store and I don't feel comfortable. One of them was lingering around the front when I walked towards checkout because someone walked out with me to my car. So I was just going to get somebody to, like, you know, walk with me, walk me to my car. I ain't car, trying whatever. to hear none of that. They yet. worked at Target. So, um, and I wasn't trying to hear none of that stuff because I'm going to have somebody walk. So, have who so walk but that was just an idea. I still, I never went, I never, I was looking around at the employees I could ask and stuff like I was I was nervous like I, I'm the type like it's not much that scares me or whatever but like I just didn't know because it was two guys well now I know it was three but at this point I knew for sure it was two guys um and I, I was just like like ugh, the feeling I had was like eerie it was so weird like because the way they were acting it, it was so weird it was the weirdest feeling so I was like I didn't know like I kept looking at the police and I was like okay like, I was just paranoid at this point I was also looking around to see like, cause I knew it was those two. I felt like it was a white guy that I saw. Um, so I'm looking at everybody else, and when I realized, I was like, why me? I realized everybody else in the store was with somebody. Everybody except for one, one girl I saw, one other black girl with blonde curl, curls and glasses. She was the only other one that I saw by herself. Everybody else, the guys, white, black, females, whatever, they were with at least one other person. So I was like, hmm, makes sense. So anyways, like I said, I walked away, walked back towards the front where the kids' clothes were, and I'm acting like I'm looking, whatever. I'm not, I don't want, like, I was also torn between if I should make them aware that I know they're following me, because, but any other time I would be like, why are you following me? Like, you know, I would have said something, but something was like, no, don't say anything, whatever. So I was talking to them, should I say something? Like, am I supposed to say something to them? Or should I act like I don't know, but just stay alert? That's what I was fighting, in my head, I was fighting between those two things. So I was like, let me just act like, act like I don't know, but I'm, I see what's going on. So I'm looking through the kids' clothes again. Here comes white guy again, back to the front, back to the checkout area, looking through like he's looking for stuff to check out. If he kept go, moving around the same little circle, nothing in his hand, nothing in his hand, his drawstring backpack on, nothing in his hand, acting like he's just looking so hard, trying to find something or whatever. We make he he peeps up and looks. We make eye contact. Like I'm at the clothes over, and I, I didn't look up much. But when I looked up, he was looking at me, and I looked back down, kept looking through my stuff, whatever. I, like I didn't know I didn't act on my phone. I I, like I was texting on my phone. Um. And then after a while, I guess I took too long, he um, he ended up walking out of the store. So by this time, Jason told me that I'm he was pissed. on the way. Right now, I'm, I'm pissed right now. Um, Why are you pissed at me? No. Oh. I'm going to be pissed at you. Because I didn't go to the <laughs> that, 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 a couple things pissed me off. Number one, 
the fact that she didn't she didn't, when she she didn't, took her too long to call me back. You know, and I'm and I'm I'm very protective. Y'all have to understand, I'm very very protective. Not only do I got three daughters, I'm protective of the women that's in my life, my mom, my friends, my little my sisters. I'm very protective as it is. So for my sorry, I'm not gonna take my for 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 my my rib my my me this is me my namesake right here my last name to be afraid and she don't call me back I was pissed and I and I was I didn't think about that at the time but like I was really I was I, I had to be focused Jason like those niggas like and, 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 and like I, they like and, they were on some and, other and, stuff and I, I get that but I so I was already so when I came up there now granted I I um I just recently purchased purchased a whip. And you know, I didn't care about none of that. I was half asleep, but I was discombobulated. I grabbed her. She was crying because she was getting hungry. I go get the car. I go get in my car. I'm driving. My light don't eat. My AC don't work. You know, and it works, but you can't cut the AC on because we'll be have no gas. So the last time I drove it, it was really low. I didn't care about none of that. I was like, listen. So I'm driving. I'm driving her. She's talking about something. She gonna have somebody else. Um, an employee. Yeah, I was gonna ask I said, an employee. No, you can have no. I'm coming up there. I drive up, and when I drive up, I see the this. I see the tall white dude with the with the great shirt. Great shirt and I knew some, my vibe was like, yo, my man. Like you know, I'm I'm originally from New York. Plus my like, so you we 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 see stuff like like so. And then and then and then I'm from the hood. Let's just be. Let's put it all together. I I'm from the hood. So we you you see certain stuff. You see lookout. So I'm looking at my man's. I'm driving up, and I'm looking at my man's to the right. And he looking at the door. He looking at the door. So that was a dead giveaway for me. Like, oh, yo, my man, you, you a lookout. And he keep looking. He look at his phone. He keep looking. He keep looking. Like, and I saw him walk out. He walked out before Jason even got there. Jason was on the way yo, still. Like, like when that white guy like, walked out of the store with nothing in his hand. The one that kept lingering around the front every time I came to the front. He, I, obviously, he was waiting for me. Like, he was waiting for me. And he was, acting like he was looking through stuff. Nobody else was over there at this point. Like... Like he, but he, he had nothing in his hand. Like he left by the store with nothing in his so hand. So I drove around one time and I drove around again and he's still looking. He's still looking. And I'm like, yo, my man, you the lookout. Okay, but I couldn't. But she's crying in the in the car because of the fact that you know how babies are. They don't like to sit in the car too long. It's probably hot at this point. So I don't really know what to do. But I know, and I didn't want to call my brother because if I call my brother and put him on ass, then it's a whole different kind of energy that's coming to that store. And I know what that looks like. And we didn't, and, and we didn't really know what's going on because she hadn't called me back. And I'm, just, I'm not somebody that react quick. You know, I have to wait. But you, when you time. got there, you told me to come outside. But so yeah. I went to the register, started checking out, and I'm still looking to make sure. I didn't see the black guys anymore, um, but I do know that I saw the white guy leave out. There was another, as I'm checking out, there was another white guy, and I felt weird about him. Um, he had three items. Um, he wasn't as dirty as them, but he had three items. He, he had a it. backpack on, and when, when she came Hold out. On, let me finish. Okay. I had a cart full of stuff. He had three items. We were, we went to check out at the same time, but he we finished checking out at the same time. Car full of stuff, three things, same time, we finished at the same time. So one person went ahead of him, and then I was like, oh, go ahead. Like I saw him, I was like, oh, go ahead. Like, well, no, I was waiting for him to walk because he finished before me. He was like, no, 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 you go ahead. I was like, go ahead. He was like, no, you go ahead. I'll, I'll go behind you or something like that. So I was like, okay. So I went, I, I went, oh, whatever, and he came behind me. I, did, I didn't turn back around, but when I got outside, Jason, my car was parked in the front here, and then Jason was facing me, my car, whatever. So he was outside of the car. So if they, the white guy was outside somewhere, the, the tall one, the first one, or the black guys or whatever, like at this point they saw that me and Jason were together. So so then they went up, then they left. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then he asked me, was the white guy. A part because um, he was, so the white dude was walking behind that, she was talking about, he was walking behind her. And then when he saw me, he just made the right. Just like, I said, yo, he was a part of it. Like he was, he was, he was it him. Was he a part of it too? She's like, well, no, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm pissed. Cause like. Y'all, they were plotting. They were plotting. Like when I tell you the first guy, the first shorter black guy that the first one I saw, when I tell you like he was in his phone talking to somebody, probably telling them like, or either taking a picture of me or talking to them about like describing me or on this aisle, whatever, da, da, da. Cause it was just him at first. Then he started literally everywhere I went in that food section, he was there with nothing in his hand. Then he, he ended up having a bag of a thing of bread in his hand, but that was it. But he kept looking at stuff like he was shopping, but he was not shopping. Then that's when the other black guy came up. They're lingering around each other. Nick, I know y'all know each other. Like they're trying to act like they don't know each other. Got the same mask song. Like, and then the black guy comes and acts like he's looking at the milk. He ain't got nothing in his hand either. Looking through the milk, looking hard. But then he was like, you know where the Gatorade? And I was like, not here in the milk section. I was like, probably down there with the rest of the drinks. Like, I wasn't trying to be too friendly. So he walks off with the white, the guy with the green shirt on 
everywhere I went, he was there, except when I went to the makeup section. So I just say all that to say, y'all need to be careful. I, I was grateful that Jason was able to come. It was a very scary experience for me. Um, like I said, I'm used to guys following me because they think I'm cute or trying to holler at me or whatever. But like, I knew that this was something totally different. And had I not seen videos, excuse me, videos in the past or heard stories from the past, I would not have been, I don't think I would have been as alert or been looking for the details that I, I saw, you know? Um, yeah, so y'all just gotta be careful. And no, and obviously like, well, what can they do in Target? Everybody has a bunch of people in Target. But you they're gonna know. wait for you to get outside. Like, they're gonna, they can follow you. They can do something to your car. They can get to you before you get in your car. Like these, there's people that have told these stories that this has happened to them. They just actually got away. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. You just gotta be on a, you have to be, it's, some, it's a link that we're gonna send to you guys in here where you can, you know, that can prevent you from being kidnapped. Um, the sex trafficking thing is real, y'all. Man, and it's. <laughs> and, I, and the thing is, I could just like, I know last year, like I was hearing a lot of stories about it and stuff. And then this week um, I heard like, two stories from Virginia, like there were kind of similar situations or whatever, but no, it wasn't this week. Well, last week, I guess. One this week, one last week, I don't know. Different situations, but still like somebody was trying to follow them or whatever. Um, and then my dad had just sent me a video a few days ago, like, but it was someone that I had seen a while ago, so I didn't even watch it or whatever. But like now, like I was just like, wow, like that's, that's crazy. Like, so I was like, I feel like I have to say what happened because I want everybody else to be aware, especially if you in Jacksonville, like, like I, I'm still trying to figure out why they were so dirty though. That's what I want. I want to know why they were so dirty. Like they were dirty, like dirty, like all of them. And it was so, it was easy. I mean, once I realized they were together, it was easy as hell because they, they were, they stuck, they stood, they stood out. They were so, ugh. but I, I'm like, why? Wow, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, you, be careful, ladies. Be careful. Um, I seen a video where a dude just stole another woman for, while she was putting her groceries in. At the grocery store. She was parked. Like, her car and was parked. And another dude, yeah, he came right there. He pushed her in and they drove the car away. Like Both of the guys got it. They acted like you wouldn't have thought that they were together. At all. Like, don't park. Don't park. Don't park far away if you can prevent it. If it's late and you have to get groceries, go with a friend. You know, like it's little stuff that y'all have to that I, I need. I need my women to do. I need y'all to do this. Like, man. And y'all, I literally, like I said, it was around eight o'clock when I when I got when I went there. I didn't leave. They the closing announcement. They were closing at ten. It was after nine forty five when I left that store because I was I couldn't leave because I knew that they were following me. It was it was it was pretty scary. I will say it was scary. Like I'm pretty smart. Like I, I had I had pepper spray with me. I didn't have like I, I sometimes I have other weapons with me, but I didn't this time. Um, so I was just trying to like plan out like if I did have to do something, you know what would that look like? I was glad that I was that she wasn't with me. That's why I don't like going to the store with her even if it's during the day. Um, yeah, no. Um, but yeah, it was it was crazy and none of them bought nothing. They were just in there like flying. So, ladies, be careful. Um, if you can go to the store with somebody else, do that. If not, just make sure that you're observant. Like, make sure that you're observant you to the cars you, around you when you're parking. Man. You're observant when you're in the store. Like, if you keep seeing the same person, just, like, just be cautious. You know what I'm saying? Um, record somebody. Record yourself. And I thought about doing the recording thing, but I wouldn't have been able to focus around me. Like, I wouldn't have been able to notice. I might not have. What if I would have missed the white guy? What if I was like, oh, I don't see the, I don't see the black guys anymore. Like, so I'm good to go. Like and they and that was that was smart. I mean, it was low key smart of them. I'm sorry, baby girl, she's falling asleep. It was low key smart of them to not be up there when I was checking out and to have somebody else up there because if I was only looking for them, then I could have let my guard down. And it's it's. I mean, they're strategic, so you cannot shop. It's it's messed up that we live in a world that you can't shop in peace and not worry about being taken. But so what? That's what that's the world we live in. So you have to be cautious. You have to be. You have to adapt with the times. So, you know, random people coming up, you having random conversations, and women are, can be a part of it too. Oh yeah, there's a, I have another story in Jacksonville, but that's a story for another day. Um, 
what should I just tell? I'm, I'm gonna tell it now. It's a quick story. Me and my friend went to the bar, Dos Gatos downtown. This was maybe two years ago. Um, and it was just like chill. We just got a drink, whatever. And then we were leaving. It was it was a little later though. Um, it was pretty late when we left. Um, we were walking to our car, this lady approached us. She's like, oh, y'all are so pretty, whatever. What y'all do tonight? And, you know, have a conversation. And um, But I peeped that there was a guy in the cut. Like, he wasn't out to the open where we could see him, but he was in the cut, and I knew that they were together. I could tell they were together, and he was waiting for her, but he was basically trying to get her to lure us to them, basically. So she was asking, like, oh, so are y'all from around here? Do y'all live close by? Like, just asking questions. I was like, Ron, we gotta go. I was like, oh, look, we gotta go, whatever. So we ran. I was like, come on, girl. So we ran. To the car she's like why did you just cut her off like that i was like cuz i i know you didn't see him but there was a guy in the cut over there he was waiting for her and i'm pretty sure that when we drove back around like they were talking to each other on the sidewalk like, so be careful random conversation somebody want to just randomly come talk to you for no reason so you, especially if you have kids i have daughters and i'm listen y'all I'm, I'm i'm a stickler for this i my kids have to get in the car my daughters know that they have five seconds to get in the car. So anytime daddy gets to the car, they have countdown five, four, three. Door closed, lock, and put your seatbelt on. They have, they're very clear. And they're eight and five. And I, I live by those rules. Same thing with if you women. Y'all have to have a time se uh, second, key in hand. Don't, if you don't buy a whole bunch of groceries at one time because the girl that got snatched, she had a lot of groceries. And when she was putting them in the back seat, the dude just, it was easy for them to grab him. That's too many groceries. If you don't have help, you're going to have to strategic plan yourself out. If you don't have somebody and if you're feeling afraid, go live. Hey, I'm live right now, y'all. I, I feel like somebody's bothering me. I'm over here. This is my location. You know, I thought about recording, figure, but figure just... something out. But do not, I repeat, do not. Like, this is not the time to be superwoman. Well, ain't nobody going to know. And I'm that person because I'll, I'll, like, yeah, but I, I knew that I had to be smart. I'll just say that. You want? We need you to come home to your kids, to your husband. And I'm a husband. And I know your husband love you or your boyfriend or whoever you have wants you to or come girlfriend. home. Whoever. <laughs> hey, they want you to come home. Somebody loves you and they want you to come home. If you got somebody at the house, they want you to come home. So I need you not to be super person. I need you to strategically plan your day. Because as you can see... No, it was real, y'all. Like, and Dang, you know, man. women have that intuition, period. Anyways, so like, I when I felt him, like, I was just like, it was just like, keep an eye on him. And then, like, literally after that, uh, that's 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 another thing. Don't don't pay attention to your, your woman's intuition. I'm not, nah, he just probably think I'm no. no. Everybody's a suspect until proven innocent. Because yeah, so I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all about that. Um, I know that I've been a little behind on the baby update she's falling asleep um so we'll get better at that but i had to get up here to to at least say this so um if you have any tips or if you know if anything suspicious has happened to you or anybody you know put it in the comments to make people aware this happened in jacksonville florida at the target at regency so be careful ladies as always i'm jay i'm jay and we appreciate y'all Fourth gear on that.